I am John Batham. I'm talking today with Romeo Tyrone, who's known for his Emmy nominated cinematography on Dexter. He's the executive producer director on Taken, Constantine and The Tick. And his upcoming series Paradise Lost will be streaming soon. I've been very lucky, yes, it's been very good, thank you. This, this job of the executive producer slash director is relatively new. I mean, in the last, say, 10, 15 years, but I think a lot of people don't understand what it is that you do. It seems like the, the function of the executive producer director now, because there's so many um, shows being shot somewhere else. So most of the time, uh, the writer's rooms and the editing uh, post is in LA. But then we're in Atlanta, we're in Vancouver, New York, somewhere else at Prague. And so executive producers need someone with boots on the ground that's gonna be there and be able to shepherd the show through. And that's where the executive producer director comes in. I'll, I'll spend a lot of time with the directors who are coming in as guest directors um, in prep, um, trying, uh, dealing with location scouting. But I, I think it's the time spent with them. I spend a lot of time, you know, almost seven days straight with the director and I get to feed them a lot of information, a lot of tone information, a lot of idiosyncrasies of the show, um, how the crew reacts, what's the best way to do it, like different things uh, with deep knowledge of the show that I kind of bestow onto the directors as I shepherd them through uh, their episode. When a, when a young director comes on, what's the biggest thing they have trouble with? You come in as a director, and you're really asked to put your stamp on it, like your creative input on it to enhance the show, not so much to change the show. So there's a fine line there. So someone might come in and think, oh, I've got a better idea, or I've got this other vision for this scene. Uh, but the showrunner will say, or, or maybe agree or disagree, because like if it's a great idea, that's a great idea. But if it doesn't track with the rest of the show before and after, then obviously that becomes a problem. Um, I, I think the idea that you're really not an artist when you're coming in as a, as a television uh, episodic director, you're a craftsman. And the, the idea of craftsmanship is like you're coming in, someone's saying, build this for me, and you build it, and you do all the flourishes and uh, that your experiences um, uh, as a director can make it, but you can't really change the whole thing to make it something all of your own. So you have to be somebody whose ego is adaptable to the personalities that you're gonna deal with. Whereas if you're, you're directing a film, as you know, the auteur is the director and everything, all the information and all the decisions come from that one point. Where in television, it's really behind the line of that, that directing line and it's really coming from uh, the showrunner, creator, writers. When, when you're directing, how, how do you like to give notes to an actor? I've learned that don't break it. In my sense, I, I try to have a light touch, especially with really good actors. Uh, day players, actors who you can see experience that they don't have and they need some help and encouragement, I would probably focus more on them than the main actors because a lot of times the main actors, uh, they know their, their stuff really well. And you, you want to help them and enhance it, but you, again, you, it's not like you're there trying to reshape everything. Do you, ever, do you ever work with the concept of using active verbs? You know, if I'm really dealing with a very, very new director, I will turn them on to that because that's a really important thing where it's not um, goal-oriented directions or, you know, the actors aren't, don't have knobs on them to bring it up or bring it down. But if you give them uh, action verbs to tell them uh, what you, you really want the feeling the outcome will be, it's much better. And I, I agree with that process completely. No, I, th I think it can be very helpful. And it yeah. gets us away from result-oriented. Result-oriented, exactly right, yeah. Do it better, be funnier, be bigger. Yeah, exactly. Which, again, I came from commercials before this, and that was that's the directing style of commercials. It's, it's up, down, give me, give me to me here, give me to me here, which is not in real. That's why it all looks fake. I always feel like acting in commercials is, is for this weird standard, you know, that's artificial. Uh, and then when you, I look, when I'm, I'm directing and I'm watching a, a performance, I'm constantly thinking, does that seem true to me? And the same way when I'm watching 
watching a television show, when things don't seem true to me, I start veering off and start thinking about other things. And I start not, you know, accepting the truth that they're trying to give me. So I do that same as a director. I'm that person sitting there and say, do I believe this? Would he have a knife to come out of there? Or would that person be able to, to do that? And, and again, you're, when you're dealing with different shows, Supernatural and everything, uh, even the most fantasy oriented show, if you base it in, in realism, it becomes so much better. I like that. Good thought. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us such great advice and insights. You can read more from Romeo Tyrone in John Batamon Directing.